Hey, what is up guys? Rules for Rebels here. Going to be a quick video today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up AdSense on your blog. So the reason I'm making this video, if you watched Tuesday's episode of the Side Hustle series, we learned about Tanner. Tanner and his wife wound up going on a cruise. Uh, prior to going on their cruise, they were kind of frustrated that they couldn't find answers to a lot of commonly asked cruising questions, such as, you know, can I watch Netflix on a cruise? Can I watch HBO Go on a cruise? Will my laptop fit in the, the safe in my room? Uh, can I bring weed back on the boat after I stop in Jamaica? You know, all those commonly asked questions that uh, a lot of the TripAdvisor posts and cruise literature don't cover. So Max decided he was, or Max, I'm sorry, uh, Tanner, decided that he was going to start a blog answering commonly asked questions for new cruisers and his blog heavily used AdSense. Now, he also used some affiliate marketing as well, but he used a lot of AdSense. So some of you guys asked me how to set up AdSense. So that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do. Um, if you don't have an AdSense account, you will need to sign up for an AdSense account. Prior to doing so, if you don't already have an existing blog with like 10 posts, I would suggest setting up a blog and throwing up 10 decent quality posts up right off the bat. Basically, if you don't have an existing blog, AdSense may or may not approve you, or it may take longer to be approved. So if you have a blog, even if it's on another subject matter, go ahead and sign up with that blog. If you don't have any blogs or websites, uh, go ahead and create one. Get about 10 pieces of content before you apply. Now, I will be showing in a follow-up video how to create an easy, free uh, .blogspot blog through Google Blogger, but for now, we're going to assume that you already have that set up. So, uh, as you can see, I've, I've blanked out my stats here. AdSense doesn't really like you sharing your stats, so I just blanked that out. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys, basically, when you log into your account, you may not have any stats on your sales dashboard if you're starting from scratch, but you will basically see this same screen. So, you're going to go ahead over here and click the tab that says My Ads. And that's going to take you over to this page. Now, again, if you don't have any existing ads, you won't have anything on here. Um, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Yours will be blank if you've run AdSense before. You'll have something here. What you're going to do is go up here and click New Ad. Okay, now, responsive ads are going to kind of automatically size themselves to the area on your blog where you put them. Um, otherwise, you can specify which ad types you want. So a leaderboard is 728 by 90. Um, a lot of people call this a header, even though technically a header is the top of your blog. Uh, a large rectangle is 336 by 280. Uh, this isn't really a common ad. It's about 320 by 100. 300 by 600 is basically a wide sky, skyscraper. Um, and then we have a medium rectangle, which is 300 by 250. I always kind of, by nature, want to put up leaderboards. Uh, but in reality, 336 by 280s and 300 by 250s tend to be the most popular ad spots. Um, I'm surprised. Oh, they're showing recommended. Let's see if we can show all of them. Um, horizontal banner. We also have a 970 by 250, which is like really going to dominate your header. Um, but basically, you know, depending on your blog, how it's set up, you can pick the ad sizes. Um, if you have a block of like, uh, let me see here. Okay, so this is kind of like a skyscraper. This is one of the wide skyscrapers. Uh, this is a header. Um, if I wanted to put like an ad right here in this block of content, that would be like a 300 by 250 or a 336 by 280. Uh, but typically these ads aren't that effective. If you do a, a really large one, they tend to be a little bit more effective. But I, um, for whatever reason, you know, header, header ads or sky, uh, leaderboards don't really do that well. Um, ads like this do really well. And also like the 300 by 250s like this, like this uh, tend to do pretty well. Uh, one very basic thing to tell you about, um, you're going to want to put your ads above the fold. And by that, I mean what shows up on the screen um, that doesn't get cut off. So if your ad, if somebody has to scroll down to see your ad, it's not going to be effective as if it's above the fold. Above the fold is a term that comes from like newspaper advertising because if a newspaper is laying in the paper machine or laying on a table, you're going to see everything above the fold. So we're going to come back over here um, and, you know, let me take you over here one more time. So uh, basically, this is the blog post that we're going to be editing. We're going to be editing an, ex an exist, or, you know, I'm sorry, I take that back. I was going to uh, actually work within a post. Um, let's see, we'll go to layout. And here you can see, like, here is uh, my header for my blog. Here's that Terapeak ad that you saw running right here. Um, this HTML JavaScript is this ad. Um, Amazon HTML JavaScript is going to be this ad. Um, so just to kind of give you an idea of what the layouts look like, the back end of Blogger is really user-friendly. WordPress is a little bit more complicated, um, but basically, I mean, if I wanted to rearrange these, I could drag that one up there, change the order, I could drag it down, and I'll show you. Basically, we're going to be using this feature called Create a New Gadget to uh, actually um, 
put up a new ad. So I have a, an ad up here, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this one. We'll just go to remove. And we're going to create a new ad. So we'll go back over here. Um, I forget what size that was. Let's see. Let's go to recommended. We'll do a 336 by 280. So I'm going to click that. If you want to mess with the text and display, text is basically text ads, display ads are, let me go back over here and see. So um, this is the display ad, a text ad. I mean, you guys have seen the uh, AdWords where it's just text, but you can basically choose if you want to do text ads or display ads. Uh, I typically do both. You can choose the style, so kind of how you want it colored and things like that. Um, I typically go with either the default or the minimalist. Um, you can set up custom channels um, where basically if you want to be able to track what came from what. This is on Rules for Rebels, so I might create a custom channel and call it Rules for Rebels. And then backup ads, uh, I'm not going to get into that, it's a little bit more complicated, but hypothetically if you wanted to run Amazon CPM ads, you could have it flop back and forth between Amazon CPM ads and uh, Google AdSense. So we're just going to click Save and Get Code. And why isn't it doing it for me? Yeah, sorry, we got to come up with a name. So R for R rules for rebels. Um, we got all our settings. Yeah, you really don't even need to mess with anything. Basically, the, the only thing you're really going to have to choose or probably even going to want to mess with is the ad size. We're going to come down here, click in save and get code. And we're going to highlight it. We're going to copy it. We're going to come back over here. We're going to add a new gadget. And what you're going to do, this will be pretty similar on WordPress. We're going to click HTML JavaScript. We're going to type it in there. I don't need to, to title it, but uh, we'll, we'll say, uh, yeah, I don't, you know, we're just going to leave it blank. And as you can see now, the ad spot is right there. So we're going to save the arrangement. We're going to click to view the blog. And sometimes these take a, a minute or two to, to pop up or we may have to refresh. We'll see if it shows up or not. So the page is loading right now. You can see there's an ad spot that's supposed to be here. Um, it's not showing up at the moment. Let's reload. Sometimes these even take a couple hours to show up. So I mean, if it doesn't show up, it's not a big deal. Um, I would just check back later in the afternoon. Yes, I mean, we got an ad spot here. It's not one to show up right now. It, it, it will eventually show up later today. Normally they do show up um, right away on time, but literally that's how simple it is. Uh, we basically created an ad spot right here. Um, let me take you back over here one second. Anyhow, I was going to show you guys how to create link ads as well, but we'll keep it simple for today. Um, you know, essentially we've created a banner ad right here. It's driving me crazy that it's not showing up. <laughs> um, anyhow, like I said, it will show up later, but literally creating um, AdSense ads is really that simple. Let me give you a couple quick pros and cons of AdSense ads. So uh, the pros are that you really don't have to put any thought into it. If you're running affiliate programs, like here, I'm a Terapeak affiliate, so I have to decide, like, do I want to run a Terapeak affiliate program? Do I want to run an Amazon affiliate program? Um, once I choose the affiliate program, I have to decide on the size of my banner ads. Then I have to decide on, uh, like, the style or the color, the design of the ad, which product I want to promote. With AdSense, you don't have to figure out the best placement for ads. You don't have to figure out what type of ads you should run on your blog. Like literally, AdSense will do it for you. And basically how they work, they will either create ads based on your content. So this blog is about entrepreneurship. So they'll either serve ads based on entrepreneurship or they'll serve ads based on previous things that I've searched for uh, through what they call retargeting. Um, so literally, that, that's pretty pretty straightforward. One of the downsides of AdSense is it doesn't pay a lot. You're getting paid a couple cents per click. Uh, the better your blog is, the more searched you are, the better your ads convert, the more money you'll get for clicks. But generally with AdSense, you need a lot of traffic to equate to any real money. Whereas with some other affiliate programs, you might, you know, you might earn $20 per conversion or something like that. So, um, you know, if you don't have a lot of traffic, you're probably not going to earn a lot with AdSense. But if you're just getting started and just kind of want to get your feet wet with blogging and stuff, it is a way to kind of just get things running until you kind of figure out what affiliate programs you should be joining and things like that. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll try to get another video up showing you just really quickly, basically how to create a blog for free on uh, Google Blogspot. So uh, that's it, guys. I'll catch you on the next video. See you guys for Side Hustle Thursdays.